Hello, um, today I'm going to do something I've not done before. I am going to do a tag video. It's the um, booktube newbie tag, and um, I think this is gonna be fun. I have not prepared any answers to the question, so we're just going off the cuff here, but I did write down, um, looks like there's nine questions. I just watched, um, another person, uh, what's booking? I just watched her newbie tag and I'm like, I, I need to do that video. So the first question, why did you start this channel? Um, <laughs> so I guess it was to find my people. I, I, I don't have a lot of bookish people in my life and I want bookish people in my life. Um, so on top of that, I now live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere and, and, um, it's a very isolated <laughs> feeling. So I, I wanted to like delve into the booktube community and hopefully build relationships within that. And there's nothing I like to talk about more than books. So thus, I started the channel. Okay, the second question. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to this channel? Well, <laughs> the forces have been against me, but the, the name of my channel is Road Reads. And the reason I'm called Road Reads is because I have a camper van. It's a, it's a um, 2017 era. Um, by Winnebago, and I love nothing more <laughs> than going to like author homes and bookish places. And so my vision when this, when I started this channel was I'm going to combine the two. I, I love road trips. So combine my love for road trips with my love for reading and go to bookish places. But when I started this channel, it was back in January and, and it was winter. I am not a hardcore camper girl. I need running water. So during the winter months, the van is winterized and doesn't have running water, which is fine like to do a day trip, but you know. And then spring finally came and so did a global pandemic. So the bookish places are closed and, you know, we're not really meant to be traveling much, although things are starting to open up again. Um, so, so if you've been wondering why is she called Road Reads, that's why. And I'm just so looking forward to when I can go to these bookish places and film and take you guys along with me. And I, I hope you'll find that fun, but that's, that's what I was hoping that would be unique to bring to booktube. Okay, the third question, what are you most excited about for this channel? Kind of what I've already talked about, just finding people I can connect with, um, with similar interests, uh, with bookish interest. That's probably what I'm most excited about. And of course I'm excited about taking those road trips we just talked about. So yeah. Why do you love reading is the fourth question. Who wouldn't love reading? I have always loved reading. Um, I guess I, okay, I may not come across like this, but I'm an introvert and I'm really shy. And you may say, uh, that seems surprising, Susan. You, you talk a lot. I do. I am an extremely talkative introvert. Um, I'm the kind of person who has major social anxiety and, and, um, although maybe it's getting a little better as I get older, but like yesterday I had to, I need some work done at the house and I had to call someone I didn't know about um, some work that needed to be done and I just dreaded it. Like even just something as simple as making a phone call, I just, I don't know, I, I have issues. Um, so, uh, I mean, so anyway, I feel like I'm going off on a tangent, but I think there's something about that introversion and the love for reading. Um, I love learning about things I would never learn about in my little life, you know? And I can't even imagine 
living a big enough life, if I led the most adventurous life I could, you're still not going to even, you know, touch the surface of all the lives you, you, you go through with books, you know? So yeah, I don't know. I, I love, I love stories. I love people who are great storytellers. I am not a great storyteller, but I really want to commit to becoming a great storyteller because I appreciate it so much in other people. Um, uh, what book got you into reading? I, 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 I'm old, <laughs> relatively speaking, for booktube. I don't remember the names of books, um, or I don't remember many of the names of books when I was little. But I was a huge reader in elementary school. And, you know, our library was, you know, one section was where the little kids got their books. And then you, you went up a few stairs. And then there was the section where, like, the middle school and the high schoolers got their books. Man, could I not wait to get out of where the little kids get their books. Um, then, then I discovered boys. And um, I kind of became obsessed with that and I didn't read so much in high school, but like not even, I didn't even read the things I was supposed to read for class. Uh, there are some exceptions though. Um, like I remember, I wish I remember what grade it was. I feel like it was seventh grade, but that seems awfully early. But I remember reading the Odyssey and saying to my teacher, is this real? Like I was just, my mind was blown and she, I remember her saying, what do you think? Which just left me more confused. But um, I remember that loving the Odyssey. I remember loving the Scarlet Letter and being like, where is this going? <gasps> and then being shocked, you know, when you find out what you find out. And I remember loving To Kill a Mockingbird. Those are books I remember being excited as a teenager reading in high school, but like, I never read most of the books we were supposed to. I don't, I mean, I am embarrassed by that. And here's the irony. I was voted, okay, you know how you have senior superlatives? I was voted biggest bookworm in high school. Now, uh, uh, yes, I'm a huge bookworm now, but <laughs> I just skated by in high school. So I think it was because everyone, I like I was never, obviously. I was never the cool kid. So I think my classmates just thought because I seemed so nerdy that I had to be the biggest bookworm. And I think that's how I got that senior superlative. But anyway, I, I now live up to it. <laughs> All right. Um, what question, the sixth question, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I think I just want to know what are their favorite books? Um, you know, there's so much out there. Like, where do you even begin to choose your next book? And and I definitely can get obsessed with a, a genre or a topic. Like right now, I'm in the whole Greek mythology <laughs> genre. And I can get obsessed and then not, you know, branch out much. Um, and so I think if I could, you know, if I met up with other booktubers, my main question would be, what are your favorite books? Like, what are your top five books of all time. And I would write those down and that would be, you know, like a TBR for me because I, I love to hear what people's favorite books are. We all have such different tastes, obviously. And like my mom, my mom was a huge reader, but we did not have the same tastes. Like she read widely, but she wasn't someone who who like loved the classics or love literary fiction. And those are kind of what I loved, but I still, she was my model for what a reader is. So I always love to hear what other people love and then, and then read those books because, you know, I just, uh, I need my paths widened and multiplied and all that good stuff. <laughs> all right. Um, number seven, what challenge do you see in starting this booktube channel? Um, I'm not saying it's not challenging, it is, but I find it all so fun. Like the idea of editing videos, I mean, I know mine are very simple and, and, um, but I, I want to learn more about editing. I find that really fun. Um, 
I need to, okay, what's most challenging to me right now, and I'm hoping that as, as I do more videos, I'll get better at this, but I need to get better at really boiling down books. Um, I tend to ramble. I tend to start a uh, sentence and then I go somewhere else. And it's because I don't script anything I, I say. I like, I, I, I just start talking like I am now. Um, so I feel like maybe I should try to not script what I'm gonna say, but at least bullet point things because I finish a video and I'm like, man, I didn't even talk about this and this and this and this and I get frustrated with myself and then I don't wanna post the video and then I'm like, no, progress, not perfection. Um, so I, maybe I just need to to do better. I, I would No, I definitely need to get better at discussing the books and making sure I talk about the things that I really want to get across because I feel like, Sometimes what I say is just my opinions about things and I don't know how helpful that always is and I want to be helpful in this channel. So I want to add more to that. So that's my biggest challenge. I, I, I need to better articulate about the books, which is like huge. Like that's the whole point, right? <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, number eight, where do you read? <laughs> I read everywhere. I, this is my office. Um, I won't, it's very rare I'll read at my desk, but I have a, a nice couch there that I'll read. That's supposed to be my reading chair over there, but my cat, Henry, has claimed it. I read in bed. Um, I read on the couch in the living room. I listen to audiobooks when I clean, when I get ready in the morning, when I drive. I love audiobooks on road trips. Um, yeah, yeah, everywhere anywhere. <laughs> um, and then the last question is, what kind of books do you read? I think my favorite books are literary fiction. Um, I love, I love something that's well written. It can be the simplest story, but if it's well written, like lyrically written, I love those. I love books that surprise me. I don't want to read a book that I could have written. <laughs> like, I hate it when I read a book. I'm like, I could have wrote that. Not really, because have I written a book? No. So I don't mean to sound like a jerk. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Where you're like, well, I saw that coming and that wasn't surprising. Like, I don't want that kind of book. I want a book that makes me say, wow. Like, what's going on in your mind that you came up with that? I... I love to be surprised. I love to be astounded by the writing. But then sometimes, depending on the mood, I'll just want a good mystery or a good thriller or or a charming, you know, story. I'm not really in, I'm not into romance books. I'm not into YA books. I'm not into fantasy books, but I'm sure there'd be exceptions in all those categories. Um, I'm not a big historical fiction fan. But there's exceptions to that. Like, I love history. Half my books are history books, biographies. And, you know, um, I, I, I uh, in my 30s, I uh, almost for the whole decade, I was obsessed with uh, the um, Revolutionary War period and, and the founding of our country. So <laughs> I have so many books on Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, <laughs> etc. Um, but... For historical fiction, I don't know, I kind of get like, I kind of roll my eyes at a lot of it. If it's something I, if it's a period of time I don't know a lot about, I think it's easier for me to read. But to read these like retellings of, you know, um, we got a lot of the Hamilton, <laughs> Eliza Hamilton retellings. I haven't enjoyed one of those books or I, I just, if it's about something I'm so into, historically, I don't really like to read the historical fiction. I think that's kind of weird, but maybe that's not. Like maybe other people feel that way. If you do, please leave me a note below. Anyway, um, if you've done this video, let me know below and I'll check out your video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully uh, this 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 shed some light on who is this Susan Road Reads girl. And um, this was fun to do. So thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.